Pool B. I will start us off with Pool B. So, uh, arguably the Pool of Death. A very yep. interesting pool. Ireland, Romania, South Africa, Scotland, Tonga. Um, I'm going to start off first game, Ireland and Romania. Ireland, get off easy, play Romania, spank Romania. Absolutely spank them. Second game is South Africa versus Scotland. Hold your breath to all my South African supporters out there because the Scottish are going to beat the South Africans. It's going to happen. I see Scotland doing really, really well at this World Cup, and I think they beat the South Africans, shocked them in the pool stage. It's not to say that South Africa's going out yet. I think South Africa get a bit of a wake-up call like they did against New Zealand at the last World Cup. Still a very good chance for them to win. We then move on to Ireland getting uh, Tonga in Tonga's first game. I think Ireland's lucky that they had Romania first up and it wasn't a big challenge. I think they come out and they beat Tonga. Um, I'm nervous to say a, uh, a like a numbered result because I think Tonga have the potential to keep it close. And the closer they keep it, the more nervous I'd mm. get as an Irishman um, because if it's a close game, Tonga can definitely steal that one. We saw them in 2011, Tonga... Um, probably with less talent, still a famous win against the French in that World Cup, so it wouldn't surprise me for Tonga. South Africa bounced back big time against Romania. Romania sitting ducks in this pool, unfortunately. South Africa then, though, have a six-day turnaround to play Ireland, who I think have probably prepped themselves a little bit against Romania, tidied some things up against Tonga, and now South Africa in a must-win game already. Mm-hmm. Only three games into the pool. They lose to Ireland. They're out of the Rugby World Cup. South Africa's gone. The French are wow. gone. It's all happening. So the Irish beat South Africa. Scotland then played Tonga. Scotland beat Tonga. They've had their big break since they played South Africa. It's really worked out well, this draw. If Scotland beat South Africa, I really think Scotland are making it through. Scotland then have their six-day turnaround, which is against Romania. Great great draw to be in for them again. They get the win against Romania. South Africa then get a consolation win against Tonga um, because it isn't going to mean anything. Ireland plays Scotland to decide who's going to be top of the pool. Ireland beats Scotland, go top of the pool. Tonga beat Romania. So we see Ireland, Scotland, South Africa, Tonga, Romania in Pool B. You heard it here first. South Africa, wow. not back-to-back champs. You're out. You know, maybe this is a revenge for making us suffer our worst ever defeat at Twickenham before the World Cup. Maybe it is. I am probably going to end up with egg on my face. I'm willing to accept yeah. that. But I've got one hill. I was dying on the French hill. I've jumped across to the other hill. And I'm dying on this hill. I'm dying on a couple of hills okay. with these big, big teams getting knocked out. All right. Well, look, bold. Bold predictions. I'll say that for sure. Let's go through my predictions for Pool B now. Ireland versus Romania. Don't need to spend much time in this one. Ireland will take the win here. South Africa versus Scotland. I also have Scotland winning this one. I also have Scotland beating South Africa here. I think Scotland are hot at the right time to take a game from South Africa. Ireland versus Tonga. Ireland will take this one. Some bumps and bruises along the way, but they should win this one. South Africa versus Romania. Sorry, any Romanians listening. South Africa is going to uh, run through you like a, I don't even know what. Something, <laughs> something big hitting something fragile, right? Uh, South Africa versus Ireland. South Africa wins this game. South Africa beats Ireland. Ooh. South Africa beats Ireland. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, I think they, South Africa is not a team to drop two games in a pool. I don't, I, I can't see that happening with this team. I just can't <laughs> see it happening with this team. I think they get ambushed, game one, by Scotland. Um, and then I think they turn it up for Ireland and they prove that they are the better team with green on their jersey. Scotland versus Tonga, a physical matchup. Scotland take this one, though. Scotland versus Romania, backing it up six days later. They take it from uh, Romania. South Africa versus Tonga, another hard-hitting game, but I think South Africa takes this one. Ireland versus Scotland. Ireland wins this game. <laughs> and then Tonga versus Romania, Tonga wins. So what I have happening for my pool, so you might be thinking, Husey, how does this work? Ireland, uh, Scotland beats South Africa. South Africa beats Ireland. Ireland beats Scotland. Who goes through? Scotland misses out. Bonus points make all the difference here. 
and Ireland and South Africa get the bonus points with Ireland finishing on top of the pool over South Africa. So my pool B is Ireland, South Africa, Scotland, Tonga and Romania and Scotland in a heartbreaker, a heartbreaker miss out on the quarterfinals. Wow. I'm, I'm not even against that. I love that idea. This is the pool of death. This is what it's built out to be. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if uh, what happens is what you've just said. Mm-hmm. Uh, that This pool's going to be so interesting. It's, it's down to that first game, I think, if Scotland can do the, the, the box, it's all on in this pool. Like This pool yeah. will just Anything be electric. Anything can happen.